Salutations, ladies and germs. My name is Mr. Fox. Welcome back to Destiny 2. And today we are going to be looking at the Burden of Guilt, which was a new addition to Trials of Osiris. We have Harmony Final Blows with other weapons. Improve this weapon's damage and performance for a short duration. We could have gotten successful warm up here. That kind of sucks. We also have Killing Wind Final Blows grant increased mobility, weapon range, and handling for a short duration. It's Origin Trait, Elcracity. We all know what it does. Last living member or running around solo. Get a giant bonus to your reload ability, aim assist, and range. We have one quiet moment, but come on, Elcracity. In terms of the battery, we could be using accelerated coils for a faster charge time, but we are going to be using particle repeater to constrain all those bows to ensure mappage. In terms of the barrel, we have arrowhead brake, greatly controls recoil, increases handling speed, or extended barrel for increased range, moderate control of recoil, and decreases in handling. Words, I'm not quite good at them today. I totally didn't forget to <laughs> switch off my PvE shit when I was coming on here. Nah, that, that definitely did not happen. And then I definitely didn't accidentally bump the trigger with my leg earlier. That, that didn't happen either and accidentally fired up a shot. Definitely didn't happen. Okay, I wasn't standing there for like 30 seconds, swapping all my shit around. Nope. Couldn't be me. Could not be me. Double down. That killing wind honestly helped. But it would have been even better with successful warm up there. And I'm pretty sure I'm still using that stupid thing that makes people's heads go boom. Unless I finally removed it. I don't know. I was like, I need... Oh, it just feels so damn good, man. Also, got the wrong dodge on. Also, the wrong melee. This is just... I was doing PvE, okay? Zone I have... Everything's wrong. Zone A captured. You have advantage. And I know the enemy is like right there, but... I cannot abide by this. Alright. Okay, problem solved. It's just been a series of fuck ups on my end. Zone A lost. I don't even know what mod is in my battler. What the fuck do I have in you? Minor spec. Zone B captured. You Why? I mean, its stability is already fucking high, so but. I don't really have a mod I'd put in there. No, it's not adept, so... If it was, that'd be... I mean, can't get adept. But if you could... I'm just saying. I would. But I can't, so I should. Teams. What the fuck? Yachtin is totally a fair and balanced weapon that doesn't require any... Uh, I, I just can't. I can't with that gun, man. Oh, 
Five minutes left. Keep it up. Double down. Why were you? What were you doing? You weren't hard scoping. One after another. So what the fuck were you trying to do? I feel like my battler is really good at range. Not so much in that midish closeish. I don't know. I don't really have like a go-to. Well, he's fucked. He's also fucked. Why are you guys approaching the super? Do you have a death wish? I'm convinced. Yep, yeah, they they have death wishes. That's a power play. You took them. Now hold. Finish them. Zone B lost. That dead messenger really hit me from all the way over there? That was like a gigantic a well spread. Victory. Holy fuck. This fox didn't super anything, I know. Zones control. Targets eliminated. Nice work. My respect, Hunter. Don't see captured. That's a power play. You took them. Now hold them. I've seen enough. No! Why would you call this one now? Don't you do it, bish! I haven't even blade barraged! No enemy can you fuck! <laughs> Shut up, you dancing hoe. You fight like a demon for these zones. Bring me your friends. I need more like you. I wonder if this game is also going to be everyone and their mother using their crafted ostringers that I can't get because the Enemy stupid so final a. one I won't drop. <laughs> oh, I hate the RNG in this game sometimes, man. Okay, admittedly, trying to map them from that range probably wasn't the best idea, but... Ow, 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 ow. I wonder if he'll come closer. Come on. You just say a little closer. Yeah, fuck it. I'm gonna regret this. Zone B captured. You have zone advantage. Oh, 
Come on. Why are you guys all over the goddamn map? Just let me be free, man. all that ammo in one place. Zone C lost. Two for one. Yes! Three down! Fantastic huh. work! Man, killing wind does not last long. Why? Why? Just why did you stand so close, man? Like, in that moment, standing, like, tip to tip, that was not the play. Like, at all. <laughs> Zone B lost. Strong start. Fight on. Hunters like you play the part Dude, for the rest. Really? R really? A solo barrage? Really? My back was to you, man. You didn't have to do that. The fuck? Uh oh. Can you stop just focusing me with supers, okay? The fuck? I feel very discriminated against. Sometimes the fusion, I feel like I'm just on target with it. Other times, I feel like I'm just not hitting where I want to be. Can you cut this shit out? I die. One more fucking super. And just as I say that, another super pops. Great. About to see it. Like you with the red jacks. Zone B captured. You have zone advantage. Victory imminent. That does not feel all that nerfed. Zone B captured. Power play. Keep the pressure on. Special ammo. I would love to see you. Like a demon for these zones. 
Please, don't just friends. stop supering I mean, me, man. Like, like, what did I ever do to you? Burden of guilt, is it great? Mm. Could be. Sadly, unlike plug one, both successful warm-up and high-impact reserves go in the same spot. Or am I thinking of under pressure? No, under pressure is the plug one. Sadly, this can... It, it, it can't get under pressure. I know. I know. I'm as sad as you are. Both successful warm-up and high-impact reserves go in the same slot, which is also where Harmony goes. And Killing Wind... It'd be great if it lasted longer. Because there really isn't much time in between kills to really take advantage of Killing Wind itself. You know, like... If you're killing someone with a fusion, you're probably already in range of the other guy who you're trying to kill with the fusion. I mean, I guess it makes it a little more consistent on the follow-up kill, but I don't know. And I found when I had Arrowhead Break on, like, my range was just shit. <laughs> like, after 15 feet, it just dissipated into nothingness. That's the only reason I have the extended barrel on. Particle Repeater, really good. These, eh, not so much. I had one with successful warm-up, but every other perk on it sucked. The only real issue I have with it is it goes where... Well, I like all my kinetic pulses, man. Don't get me wrong, the BXR is great, it's just... I don't like having a scope. You know, like a zoomed-in scope. I like red dots. They just feel less claustrophobic. You don't lose your peripheral vision. You can also get perpetual motion where Killing Wind is, but... I don't know, maybe that would be better than Killing Wind? Perpetual motion's just great in general. But I don't really know what you would want if you'd want successful warm-up or high-impact reserves. Because the high-impact reserves are ja definitely going to help you, like, map people on the Crucible. Be very consistent. Successful warm-up, though, allows you to easily 2v1 with a fusion if they're in range. It would have been amazing if high impact went in this slot. I could see this being just the go-to fusion if that was the case, but... I guess that's Bungie's way of secretly toning down fusions by making it show... I don't know why I'm doing that fucking accent. It's by making it so you can't get the most OP perks possible. <laughs> in a single roll, you know? Anyways, thank you all for watching, and I hope you all have an amazing day, and stay classy. All singing low, while I pop a bottle off of your chain swinging, clang, clang, and it costs a lot. Bitch, I'm always at the Gwella, yeah, and you are not.